The ion dipole interaction, which we considered earlier, allows us to explain the formation and stability of electrolyte solutions. However, for a quantitative description of the properties of these solutions, it is also necessary to consider ion ion interactions. The entire set of interactions arising in electrolyte solutions can be described using ion activity instead of concentration. All these thermodynamic relations, written in the form of equations for ideal solutions, do not give any results, and the results are strictly consistent with the results of experimental measurements. Thus, all types of interactions between particles are reduced to a deviation of activities from concentrations. This method of describing interactions in electrolyte solutions has a number of features. Let's write a general expression for the chemical potential of a particle E. E is a charged particle, ion, then this process is physically unrealizable since it is impossible to add only one sort of ions to the solution. To eliminate this difficulty, it is assumed that the charge of the solution is compensated by the addition of an equivalent amount of oppositely charged ions. In this case, free energy with the addition of salt changes and this change characterizes the chemical potential of the salt. Assume Z and the equation takes a simpler formula. Further, we assume that these ratios are valid not only for salt, but also for cations and anions separately. In this case, the experimental determination of the activity of an individual ion remains impossible. The relationship of the activity of individual ions with the activity of the soluble salt is established based on the conditions of electroneutrality. For example, if the equilibrium is established in the solution, then the chemical potential of the salt and the individual ions are related by the equation. The condition of electroneutrality is also observed in standard solutions, so thereby Or in order to describe the properties of electrolyte solutions, the concept of average activity is usually used. Where 
In more detail about the activity of electrolytes, we will talk in the next video.